Hi, I'm Harish Joaquin, International Neuroradiologist at Silver Cross Hospital. We're on the second floor at a new hospital in the end of Astra Suite that hosts the biplane uh, equipment that is specially designed to treat acute stroke. Uh, we're one of the few hospitals that has a biplane equipment in which we can shoot x-ray beam both in the frontal as well as the lateral plane so we can look at the head from both sides in the front front as well as the side. At the same time we have 3D capabilities that the x-ray tube spins around the patient's head and we can reconstruct the images and look at the blood vessels in great de detail to diagnose stroke as well as treat stroke. Patients that have a stroke within three hours usually receive intravenous TPA, which is a clot busting drug in the emergency room. Those patients that come beyond the three hour window, at Silver Cross Hospital we can extend the window up to eight hours to take these patients up to the endovascular suite and pull the clot out. So these patients are fortunate that if they come to Silver Cross Hospital, their window of treatment gets extended up to eight hours. There are multiple modalities you can use to treat the clot. You can use stent retrievers, they're little devices that you put into the blood vessel and pull the clot out. Or you can use little catheters that go all the way up into your brain and can aspirate or suck the clot out. As well as we have imaging studies here that can actually tell us uh, how much of the brain has, is alive as well as the amount of brain that is already dead. So we can triage our patients in a more uh, systematic fashion to have better outcomes. Once you've made, made a diagnosis of stroke, uh, there are two different kinds of strokes. There's hemorrhagic stroke where a blood vessel leaks blood into the brain, or there's a condition called ischemic stroke where there's not enough blood going to the brain. On a monitor, you can see a patient that we treated has a very large aneurysm, has a big outpouching of the blood vessel on the screen that could rupture or break and cause uh, uh, immense amount of blood into the brain resulting in a hemorrhagic stroke. These patients can be treated with a procedure called coiling where we go up with a very small catheter called a microcatheter, a very small tube, and through that tube we can insert coils in the aneurysm and exclude the aneurysm from the circulation. In other patients that have a blood clot called an ischemic stroke within a blood vessel, we can go up from the groin, we take a little catheter all the way up into the blood vessel that's clogged up or blocked up, and we can pull the clot out. And if we do it in a timely fashion, most patients recover quite well and are able to go home in a few days. So. Unlike, uh, unlike a lot of other hospitals, Silver Cross Hospital is very fortunate to have a continuum of care and stroke. There is ER care at Silver Cross Hospital, endovascular care, inpatient critical care, inpatient services as well as rehab within the hospital which differentiates them across the many of the hospitals that treat stroke. It takes a tremendous amount of effort as well as programs to put the stroke program uh, in perspective for comprehensive treatment. It requires right from the grassroots emergency room personnel, nursing care, neurosurgeons, neuroradiologists, neurologist, as well as dedicated staff in the intensive care unit, as well as the nursing floors in neuro and rehabilitation to make this program successful as well as have the best outcomes. There's really no reason for anybody to leave the area for stroke care. We have it all at Silver Cross Hospital.